Okay, purpose of this video is to reinforce the topic in my book, Section 3, Output Solenoids. And what we're going to do is a circuit identification using a voltmeter. This is a 97 Toyota Avalon 3.0 liter engine. And what we're going to do is the EGR solenoid. Here's your EGR valve right here. The EGR solenoid location is right here. There are two wires, of course, two wire solenoid. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a voltage reading on both wires. So first measurement, I have a T-pin in the bottom connector that's a black wire. Black with a white tracer, we'll get a voltage reading on that one. Okay, we got the key on, taking a voltage reading on that bottom wire. We're reading 12.05 volts. I'm going to move the T-pin now to the top wire. We'll get a reading on that. Okay, got the T-pin installed on the top wire. Take a voltage reading. We got 12 volts on that. So what we know is with this solenoid having 12 volts on both wires, this is a ground side switched solenoid. The next part I want to show is how to identify which of these two wires is the control wire. We're not using a wiring diagram, again using a voltmeter. Got 12 volts on this wire and I had 12 volts on the other wire. What you want to do, reach down, unplug the solenoid. With the solenoid unplugged, you can see that this wire stayed at 12 volts. When I measure the other wire, it's going to be zero. That's telling us this top wire is our feed, the bottom wire is the control. I'm going to move the T-pin to the bottom wire to show you. Okay, got the T-pin back in the bottom plug, bottom wire. Take a look at, our, look at our voltmeter. We're at 12 volts. This is with it plugged in. I'm going to reach down and unplug the solenoid, and you'll see that that dropped to zero unplugged. So solenoid unplugged. Plug it back in, goes to 12, unplug it, drops to zero. And so this is a way to identify which of the two wires is the control wire on a ground side switch solenoid where both wires read 12 volts. 12 volts coming in, 12 volts coming out, waiting for a ground. Unplug the solenoid, the wire that drops to zero is the control wire. And so with that information further, we can take this solenoid. We can manually energize it when we want to, force the EGR valve to open and things like that. Important for circuit identification before you can do any of that stuff. So there it is, circuit identification with a voltmeter, control wire identification with a voltmeter on a ground side switched solenoid.